Hello, this is Steve Webster from Dido of DidoWeb.com. This is a how-to demonstration video on one of the app scripts we've recently written and we're sharing it to the public. This script is called Email Autocomplete, so let's get started. Here we, we see a user interface panel and in this panel we are prompting for email data entry. Now, this script will mimic very closely to what we're used to with Gmail, with the auto script, auto uh, complete uh, feature. So, let's just read this a little bit. Uh, this is an example Google app script that mimics the auto complete feature found in Gmail composed emails. This free unsupported application developed by Dido can be downloaded at www.didoweb.com. Now, when we enter information in this enter email, uh, we actually have three options. Uh, once the items are listed as we type, we can simply press enter to uh, select the top one listed. Or if we see more than one entry, we can actually use our mouse and click on an email. Or thirdly, um, if we don't have an email listed in our contacts, but we do want to enter one anyways, you may do that and there's some email validation. So let's go ahead and demonstrate this now. So if I start typing, it's going to go out and find some email. So I'll press enter here. By pressing enter, it brings over to this portion of the screen which I'm, where I'm compiling the selected list. And let's go ahead and type in some more information here. And let's, now let's use the mouse and click on the second occurrence. As you can see, it brings over to our compiled list. And the third option, as I mentioned, it's possible to go ahead and type in an email that's not in our contact list. So I'll press enter and it brings it over here to our compiled list. Now there is email validation uh, to a certain extent. So if I type G uh, at Gmail and I forgot to enter the dot and I press enter, it ignores it. There's no activity whatsoever. So I can go back and let's say I accidentally type the gmail.com without the at sign press enter. It ignores that as well. The other thing to take note is underneath the selected list there is a way to remove what's been selected because you know sometimes we make sele selection choices we click on the wrong uh, option. So the instructions here are quite simple. It just says to remove, click on the email. So if I want to remove these, I'll just click on it and it removes it. Okay, this actually ends the portion of how to use the script. But I would like to now to discuss um, with the idea of talking to app script developers. Basically what's going on here, we have a run command that first invokes the script, which brings up this panel. And then thirdly, behind the scenes, what happens is it will populate the owner's contact list information here, where we're bringing over their primary name, which is first and last name, and we're also bringing over the email addresses associated with those. And as we collect emails, they are they're showing up here on the selected emails sheet over here. And if I choose to delete this, it will delete it from there as well. And I'll populate it again. All right. Now, how this works is the following. We have a text box here. As we type the text box, on each entry, um, it will go out and search the owner contacts and try to find a match. And then once we click on the option within this open list box, it will bring it over to this list box. And then by clicking on the uh, email over to the selected list list box, it will remove it. So that's a quick overview of the script. And if you would like it, you may visit www.web.com and it's yours for free. We hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.